YouTube what's up? Today I'm showing you how to add a style and creativity to almost any project using these incredible 3D transitions. I've talked about how to create the transitions like this in a previous video, but in this time I've taken the concept to a whole new level. I've created really unique products so you won't find anywhere else. In this tutorial I'll be using the free demo version of the pack. It has a few limitations, but if you're ready to elevate your edits and stand out, you can grab the full pack for After Effects and Premiere Pro through the link in the description. Let's dive in. First go to my website and download free demo version of this pack. You'll get one vertical and one horizontal transitions completely for free. Unzip the file and drag the IEP into the project. Using it is super simple, just drop the transition onto your timeline where you want the effect. The principle of the transition is quite simple, you just need to put the frozen layer in the placeholders that are inside the transition. In order to do this, we put the playhead on the last frame of the first clip, duplicate the layer using shortcut Ctrl D, right click on the duplicated layer, go to the time and freeze frame. This layer is now a screenshot of the last frame. Copy it with Ctrl C, go inside the transition, open placeholder 1 and just paste it there. Now repeat the same steps for placeholder 2. Go back to your main comp and put playhead on the first frame of the second clip. Next duplicate, freeze frame, copy and paste it into placeholder 2. If the layer ends up out of sync with the playhead, there's an easy fix. Select the layer and press the open square bracket on your keyboard. You can customize this shortcut yourself by simply opening keyboard shortcuts and it's called set layer in point at current time. Once placeholders are set, go back to the main comp, delete the temporary layers and the main part is over. But it's not perfect yet. The free demo doesn't include the assistant transitions from the full version, which is smoother. In the full pack you can simply drag them onto a place, activate and instantly get a pro level result. So instead of an assist transition, you can use transition whatever you have. But it's not all, we can make the transitions even better. The pack is fully customizable. Head into the transition and found the control layer. For this example, I'm adjusting the camera shake parameters like frequency and amplitude. It immediately gives the transition more energy. And so, feel free to experiment with these parameters. Also, Assist Transitions has even more customizable options. We can lock it and customize it in the main comp. There are really a lot of options and you can get a very different results. One important note, Assist Transitions work best at a fixed resolution. So if you switch to a different resolution, just open the comp, set your resolution and transition adjust automatically. And one last little thing is flexible duration. Switching items on the timeline simply by the cursor. The flexibility here is insane. And the fact that the pack includes vertical transitions make it a game changer to a modern editors. Guys, I've put a ton of effort into this project and I'd love for it to bring value to your work. You can start experimenting with free demo and stand out or unlock the full potential of your creativity with a complete pack of 50 unique transitions. Thanks for watching, happy editing and I'll see you in the next one.